Well, I woke up in Long Beach this morning and I had in, intended to come and visit my friend Jackie who uh, drives a bus, a pink bus in Huntington Beach. So I got my coffee because I was early and uh, she's just arriving and I'm walking over to say hi and to uh, walk you around her bus. This is a new pink bus. She has a YouTube channel called The Bubblegum Bus. And this might be the new Bubblegum Bus. She might have a new name for it though because the old bus was called Bubblegum Bus. And here's Jackie. I found you. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Good morning. I'm just getting up and my back is sore. We've been sitting here been too sitting long. Here about 10 hours? No, five hours? No. Three hours? Two hours. <laughs> it's been more than it's been more than two hours. Yeah. So now I'm going we to walk, talk, huh? walk this beautiful lady back to her bus. The bubble gun bus. Are you taking yours? Huh? Right. And I'm going to try and keep you in a picture, you see? Okay, so walk me home after school. Are you going to carry I'm my books take too? You to your bus. Are you going to carry my books too? No. So <laughs> she doesn't oh think God. I'm. Now you guys can only handle 10 minutes of me, but somehow she managed to handle two hours of me. He's interesting. If you really get under that, what would you call it? You didn't get under it. Get, 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 past, get past the, the TV, the, the YouTube star, Gus. Get oh, past that. I'm a YouTube star. <laughs> He's a YouTube star. Actually, it's kind of funny because I had like 50 followers and she was one of them. I know. I, I knew when Gus I from the beginning. Her. Yeah, yeah. At the RTR, I think, right? Yeah. yeah, immediately I was following him when I was in Southern California when he was making it down the coast. And when I got to RTR 2019, I said, there's Gus on a bus. So I parked right next to him. I didn't ask him. I just pulled up and took that space. That's one of the things that's kind of funny. <laughs> I've only got 3,000 subscribers, but I'm in the middle of a beach in California. I know. Just How'd we end up? over a bunch of cliffs and everything. Yeah, we ended and up from the desert. some guy said, hey, you're Gus in the bus. Oh, because can... everybody knows you now. Yeah. I told you, famous YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, we're walking back to her bus and... Uh, we're, we're trying not to fall on the I'm pavement. I'm trying to convince her to come up to Canada for that. I would love summer. to. I really am considering it. I was in, if you ever see me, Bubblegum Bus is a big 38 foot now i've moved down to a 24 foot bus so i think i'll really travel a lot farther and a lot easier now that i'm in this bus and um i would love to go to canada and i've been around wait a sec countries. wait a sec wait a sec what maybe they'll let that bus across the border yeah. i'm not sure <laughs> that thing <laughs> it's called the bubble gum bus because it's painted bubble gum color <laughs> Anyway, but I love visiting countries where you know somebody and you, you know you, they can show you what the real country is yeah. about. So, yeah. So we're saying goodbye. Big All hug. All right. All right. We'll have to see Big each other wave again. Goodbye. Wave Bye, goodbye. guys. Bye, Gus. We love you, Gus. Oh, wait. You got to tell them who you are. I'm Jackie from. Just a sec. Let me catch you again. I am Jacqueline and I'm from the Bubblegum Bus. And that's your YouTube channel, Bubblegum Yes, my Bus. YouTube channel, my Instagram. And I am a single female urban. Nomad, I travel I and think live in the city. I, I told her she should she should be calling it the MILF bus. But she we're going to discuss that a little bit later. Yeah. Anyway, say <laughs> goodbye. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Well, this video is about the highlights in my day. And 68 cents per avocado is a super highlight for me. So I'm going to be picking out a bunch of these before I head off down to the beach. hanging out at the beach at Long Beach and this guy drove by hey, this is Kirk this is peace roamer peace it's a Ford f750 yeah uh, four-wheel drive made by a company called Earth roamer amazing uh, 
through just north of Denver. Yeah. And this is the third one of them, the HD3. So oh, okay. They've been making uh, these vehicles, uh, four wheel drive Ford F550s for many years, um, but uh, they've now started building this larger one. HD is for light duty. <laughs> That's right. HD okay. Light duty. Yeah. We got but some features uh, on here. We pretty big. I'm it's not gonna, you're not going to take me inside, but these tires are how tall? Um, Stand know. beside it. How I tall are you? Four feet, maybe something like yeah, that. Yeah, four feet or yeah. something. Mine um, are, my wheels are about as big as the rim. Uh huh. But it uh, has a few interesting things. One is it has no generator nope. and has no propane, so everything's electrical. So there's a 2,000 watt um, electrical or yeah, solar array on the roof and a 20 kW and uh, you don't dump it either so there's no uh there's no uh you have an electric toilet system. it has an electric toilet so it incinerates awesome and uh um the uh it doesn't have propane and no generator um if, if the lithium pack gets uh down to 30 percent it'll kick the engine on and yeah. then there's two hydraulic alternators that then can rapid charge it like a you know like a supercharger or so a like we charger. like we started where do you park it well right here Exactly where to take goes. up exactly <laughs> two spots while we're doing yeah, it. It really is two spots. Yeah. Uh, I'm sort of on the line, so I guess that's a little bit of. Uh, but I think I could actually scoot it and actually fit right in there. But, yeah. uh, so it's ten. Let's go steps. walk around back. It's ten steps up to the um, up to the upper deck up there. Yeah. So it's really a full story. It's 35 feet long. It's eight and a half feet wide and 13 and a half feet tall. Okay. Um, one person can uh, can change the spare. Um, has a one person. There's a receiver hitch. Yeah. It goes into a mechanism that attaches onto that. There's a winch behind there, so it will lay that thing down. Yeah. And um, there are actually large hydraulic jacks. There's a pair of them right behind the, uh, the fuel tank. Oh, so you I can see. actually lift it up just with those big hydraulic. And this is just jacks. storage up in yeah, here? Yeah, it goes all the way through. Storage all the way through. Okay, what's around the other side? Yeah. We so got to do this in one minute, remember? Uh -huh, that's right. So there's a. Uh, uh, you know, a couple hundred gallons of water, a um, couple hundred gallons of gray water yeah. capacity. Um, uh, this is all the electrical um, uh, uh, inverters and all the controls. And on the other side, there's an out outdoor refrigerator. Awesome. Nice Why are the bolts all uh, shined up and stuff? Yeah. That's well, kind of amazing how they, do. you know, yeah. I worked for a company that built logging trucks. Oh, yeah. And we yeah. didn't worry about the bolts being... Uh, yeah. No, these are just uh, still nine months old. It's not quite, a, not quite a not quite not quite not quite a year old, so it's yeah, uh, yeah they're still uh, still look shiny. Okay, so how much fuel is there? Um, it'll hold over a hundred gallons. Yeah, so I can get you know eight hundred miles out of it, something like that. Yeah. Oh, so. well, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. So where have you been with it? Uh, Tennessee, um, yeah. all over Southern California. I've been to Salty Sea. Um, been. Spend time in BLM type land, or yeah, yeah. Um, went to Burning Man in it this, yeah. this last year. So how many people take Burning Man? Um, well, it's really it's got a king size bed up above there, and then it just has two sort of big couches, so really four. Yeah. Um, so what's your name? Kirk. Kirk. Well, Kirk, that's one minute. All We're right. done. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, guys. So on the way back from that big bus or big truck, I met a subscriber named Bob. <laughs> Hello, Gus. <laughs> And I live in Long Beach and I've been following Gus for quite a while. I've got a Lance camper on the back of a 3500 Chevy that myself. So I watch the uh, you know people that are living on board and admire their uh, adventurous spirit. So we've been talking about my channel and some other channels and that's it. See ya. Okay, good. They wave goodbye. All right, bye-bye. I went off and picked up my model and drove her down to the same beach. Pretty chilly, so we took our shots very quickly and headed home. the next morning and what I wanted to show in this video is that um, some days are just full of people 
wonderful people. Most of the time they're people that I've just met. Some of the time they're people I've met in the past because I've been in the bus. And some of the time they will be uh, the models that I organize photo shoots with. But whatever the case may be, this is a fun lifestyle. I couldn't do any of this stuff if I was still in Vancouver. Most people would be in their apartments because it's cold and it's rainy all winter long. So I come down to California, I get to enjoy the beautiful sun, but I meet a whole pile of new people. Not all of them can be put on video because most don't really like, like my model doesn't really like being on video. I got a bit of a shot of her, but you know, that's it. So, um, Thanks for watching. I had a fun day yesterday. Today I'll have a lot fewer people in my life because I've got to spend some time working. I've got to download those images from yesterday and get them up there so the model can see them. Anyway, so you guys have a good day. I hope you had as good a day some of the time as I have some of the time. Thumbs up for watching this long. I appreciate that you do that because you could be doing a lot of other things. Anyway, uh, there's some buttons up here for subscribing and looking at other videos and um, joining my Patreon, all of which I'd like you to consider. Anyway, thanks a lot. See you tomorrow. Have a great day.